Alright, I guess I'm gonna be real with you. The first time I tried filming this, I did a lot of the filming, and then I realized that there was something in my teeth the entire time. Yeah, so I was gonna refilm everything, but I'm too lazy. So you can look at that little thingy in my teeth. If you have any ideas for what I should name it, let me know. Hello everyone! So it's been about a week now since I've been here at University of Waikato, and it's been a very hectic week. I've been doing a lot of running around trying to settle in and do grocery shopping and get stuff so I can make food at home and get my papers and that's what they call classes here papers so I've been trying to get enrolled in all of my papers and you know just finalize the steps of my enrollment and so that's been really good before I left I kind of did all of my packing the night before and that was kind of a bold move, honestly. But I did have a packing list of things that I needed and I watched videos on YouTube of other people who had packed for their study abroad trip and made a list of like things that I needed. So that helped a lot having that list. If you do not have that list, I would not suggest packing the night before. I would suggest um, doing everything at least like maybe three days ahead of time because it's you kind of have to think really hard about like what you're gonna need for four months and I tried my best to just pack light and pack the only things that I really needed so um, I'm gonna show you some pictures of some of the stuff that I packed eating and like this is really for like my lifestyle and like the things that I think that I needed and uh, You'll see, probably think that some of the things are a bit excessive, but it, you know, it works out for me. I'm gonna leave a little list of what I packed for myself uh, in the comment section or not in the comment section but in the video description or whatever and just in case you need any help I mean it's honestly probably not the best list my advice would be go on YouTube and look for some other people's lists of what to pack because yeah, I think just they'll do a lot better of a job of explaining it. <laughs> but yeah, if you wanted to know what all that stuff you just looked at was, you can see in the description of the video. <laughs> My room is a little bit more uh, homey now. I've got a little bit more stuff. It's Still not a lot like uh, some of my roommates rooms are like really decorated and stuff like that and it looks super cute but um, I, I think I'm actually gonna try and keep my room a little bit empty because when I go back home I don't want to have a whole lot of stuff to bring back with me so um, here's a little stuff in my room about that scarf um, I'll tell you more about that scarf later and, and there's like a little string with like little clips on it and I bought a bed sheet and a pillowcase and I did not use the linen service that the university provided just because I wanted like cute bed sheets. I know, but yeah, I wanted cute bed sheets and the linen pack came with some stuff that I didn't even really need in it and plus this was actually a lot cheaper. I was able to find a friend who could take me to Kmart and I got a linen pack for a lot cheaper. The first couple nights I actually just slept in a sleeping bag which wasn't that bad except I didn't have a pillow so that kind of sucked but now that all, I have all of this it's like really great and really cool. Drum roll please. I got a bag. Got a bag and it's really cute and has a little basket and it is light blue as you could probably see 
but I'm really excited to do grocery shopping with the bike. There's a bulk food store that is uh, about a 30 or 40 minute walk away, but on bike it's only 12 minutes, so that's really great. And I'm going to try my hardest to do a lot of um, grocery shopping where I put bring my own container and just take from the bulk bins and put inside little jars and stuff like that to be a little bit more environmentally friendly and I'm really trying to work on that this semester and trying to make it happen while I'm here. So one thing I do want to say about living on campus at the university is that a lot of the shops that I can walk to nearby are kind of expensive like for people in New Zealand and that's because they know that people who are in the dorms in college can't really walk that far. Um, so I would definitely keep that in mind and ask people around you what shops are a lot closer um, that, or just what shops that may not be too far that are a little bit less expensive than the ones close by because I think most places tend to do that where uh, if you're close if it's a shop close by, they'll raise their prices a little bit more because they know you can't go anywhere else. And so that's another reason why I'm really stoked to have my bike because I can go a little bit further and find things that are a little bit less expensive. Even though um, the bike was a little bit expensive, but I think it'll really pay off for itself in the long run. And it's just like this campus is so big. It's going to be really nice having a bike to ride around places and it just feels really cute riding my bike along the little lakes and stuff that they have here. On Friday, the university had a group trip to Mount Monganui, which was this really cool mountain that was right next to a beach and I didn't go on the beach because I personally thought the water was a little bit choppy and everybody said it was really cold and honestly I could have probably still jumped in but I decided to go hiking instead and I was okay with that because it was really fun and um, I got to take a lot of cool pictures and it was kind of a short hike but um, it was a good one and there's a lot of places to view things with scenery and uh, a lot of birds which I really love birds so I got to take a look, couple of cute pictures of them which I will share with you. Um, so here's a couple of short clips from my trip to Mount Monganui and a couple of pictures too. Today is Sunday and yesterday we went to Hobbiton um, and this is, like, this is the Shire and the set from Lord of the Rings and I'm going to be completely honest with you, I had not watched any of the Lord of the Rings until about maybe a month ago and I watched all three of them and, sorry that's four, three, three of them <laughs> and I, um, thought they were really cool and they're totally my type of movie. I love like fantasy and dragons and uh, sci-fi and all of that kind of like stuff. So it was really cool to actually see The Shire after watching all three of them so recently actually. Um, and I did listen to the first audiobook, um, which was actually a lot more than what some, a lot of the people on the trip could say. So I was kind of proud of myself for that, at least. So here's a few clips from my trip to Hobbiton.
so yeah hobbiton was great it was so much fun going there it was kind of like a dream like walking through there and the mount was really cool too i just love hiking so that was a lot of fun for me but the one of the coolest parts about being on these field trips and like going to places with this university is that there are a lot of international students and you get to meet so many people from just everywhere around the world like i've met people from singapore malaysia china japan uh, vietnam finland sweden um just so many places that it's so many to even like list and uh, it's been just really cool being able to meet all these people because you're kind of like in group with the international students if you're an international student and chances are if you're studying abroad it's probably gonna happen to you too and you'll meet a lot of people from around the world um but that being said i do want to meet locals here and i want to know more about the people who live here and what life is like here and about the indigenous culture here and i've actually been really lucky to have two flatmates who are uh from here or they're at least raised here they're indian but they were raised in new zealand so it's been really uh, good to learn about new zealand from them and they're really awesome people. And I also have two flatmates um, who are also from the US. They're from Minnesota. And one from Japan and one from China. So, you know, you just get like all different types of people here. And like, I really love that. I love like having so many different uh, perspectives of life and just having so many different people around me. That's cool. Another thing I want to say about New Zealand is that everybody is so friendly here. Like, it's been awesome. Like, I've made more friends in just a day than I can even count. And that's not even, like, just on the field trips and stuff like that. Like, people just are really friendly. Like, they're not ashamed to talk to you in line and, like, just strike up a conversation. And it's really nice um, to be able to have conversation so easily with people and it makes you feel a lot less alone when you're studying abroad and I'm not sure if it's the same and it's probably not the same in every culture but one thing about New Zealand is that people are really friendly and that's one thing that I can really appreciate. The one thing I do have to say about studying abroad is that so far it hasn't really been all like sunshine and rainbows you know like i had a really hard time trying to finalize my paper i had to visit the um it was called the student center to go and uh, meet with people multiple times to try and figure out my classes because i couldn't actually do it myself because i had didn't technically i didn't have the prerequisites but that's just the ones that are here at this school but I do mean the prerequisites when you look at my transcripts and stuff so that was really hard and then I've had to go grocery shopping pretty much every single day because I go to the store and then I come back and then I realize that I'm missing something that I need or that I would like you know to have um you know, and it's it could be something like super simple as like like a brush to scrub the pots and pans here or um face facial wipes you know just so that i don't go to bed with a dirty face and i didn't bring any makeup remover and i probably should have thought about that um but yeah you know you, it, there has been some like frustrating parts and i just want to let you know like there are going to be times where you're very frustrated because you have to be really on your game here like you need to have everything ready and like you have like a list and be very organized and if you're not completely organized um then you might have a little bit of a hard time like settling in and trying to get into the groove and i like to think of myself as an organized person but like after being here i realized that i'm not maybe as organized as i thought i was yeah so tomorrow is my first day of actual school. I'm really super excited to start because honestly, I love school and I'm excited to see how my classes are going to be and all the teachers and stuff. So um, I think I might film a first day of school, like how it goes, blog focus on that. Um, but if I don't, I'm sorry. 
But anyways, I will see you next time. Bye.